STEM. What is it for? Let's be clear, STEM isn't a new subject, and it's not just about integrating science, maths and technology. It's about designing learning that engages learners in collaborative problem solving, to design solutions drawing on deep disciplinary knowledge of science, technologies and mathematics. It's about designing learning for both critical and creative thinking and collaboration. It's about designing learning that embeds authentic problem solving. This approach to STEM education will develop STEM-capable citizens, people who thrive personally and professionally, make informed decisions in their daily life, and are empowered to follow STEM careers and lead innovation at any age. So, with this in mind, let's think about Carly and Theo and their learning journey in South Australian preschools and schools. We want Carly and Theo to develop positive dispositions in STEM from the start of their education. We want them to be confident and involved learners. Educators in Carly and Theo's preschool will design spaces and opportunities that generate curiosity and wonder. As Carly and Theo play, their educators will support and challenge them to be noticers, problem finders and problem solvers. They will capitalise on Carly's questions like, can a drone fly all the way to the moon? They build partnerships with local communities, museums and libraries to help learners with their inquiries. As our learners transition from preschool to primary school, we want them to maintain enthusiasm and engagement in STEM learning. Teachers will design learning that brings in the Australian curriculum learning areas in STEM. We want our students to understand that science is fundamentally a human endeavour to use computational design and systems thinking, to design solutions using technologies, and think mathematically through the four proficiencies. It is important for learning to be meaningful and relevant. This can be done through integrating the learning areas of science, mathematics and technologies, or bringing an authentic context to each of the learning areas. We want our students to understand engineering as a way of thinking, to see how engineers apply the concepts and skills from the different disciplines to design solutions that enable us to live in a society that is affordable, healthier, smarter and ethical. Teachers in Carly and Theo's school will design learning that intentionally brings the STEM disciplines to life. Their teachers will create a need to understand the concepts and the connections between them. For example, their teachers design learning about fitness apps students use so they can see how it has been engineered to improve our lifestyle. Teachers can use this context to surface the biology associated with heart rate, the mathematics with tracking location and the technology that enables you to collect in real time the data you need to create better fitness solutions. They build partnerships with zoological sites, botanical gardens, local council waterways and researchers investigating their questions at universities to help learners be problem solvers. As our learners move from primary school to secondary, we need to maintain their engagement in STEM learning. We continue to design learning that develops confident and capable young scientists, mathematicians and technologists. And have students see the learning is so compelling that they are inspired to choose these disciplines in senior secondary school. Carly and Theo think creatively and work collaboratively to generate designs with many alternative solutions for problems, like how can we shield and deflect space junk from Earth? We want them to be able to communicate their ideas clearly using supportive diagrams, graphs, models and technology. Carly and Theo's teachers build partnerships with local industries, such as the space industry, to support students with their designs and receive authentic feedback. We want our students to be able to question, think, design and evaluate using their STEM learning and be able to transfer this learning to new and unfamiliar contexts. We want our students to develop the skills and dispositions to be able to tackle real-world issues and solve them together. 
through STEM, we want our students to be able to see how they can be contributors and innovators to global improvement, to be social and economic entrepreneurs in our certain and uncertain futures. A strong STEM education starts early in preschool and capitalises on children's innate interest in the world around them. Our goal is to sustain this enthusiasm for STEM learning throughout their schooling and for a lifetime of opportunities. A strong STEM education will enable Carly and Theo to have many choices with what they can do after they leave school. They could take up an apprenticeship, go on to further study at TAFE or university, or be job ready to embark on an exciting career pathway or even start up their own business. Thank you.